everybody, I'm Bill Campbell. Welcome once again to Chicago. And 35 years ago, in 1972, a very important, crucial organization was incorporated. I'm talking about the Spanish Coalition for Jobs. And I'm really happy to welcome to the show today, Elba Aranda, who is the director of SCJ. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. 35 years ago, this year, of course, celebrating the 35th anniversary of the official, but even a little earlier. A little was. earlier. We, um, we're actually going to um, celebrate our 36th year uh, in May, this wow. coming May. Wow. So we're going into the 36th year. Wow. But we started prior to that um, in the mid-60s um, as an advocacy group, a uh, very strong advocacy group um, involved in all types of really neat initiatives uh, to help the Latino community. Move, move, and move in, in the area of employment and, and in other areas. And the tradition has continued. The organization has grown in many incredible ways and quite a standout organization, just in terms of community service, both locally and nationally. I've got to ask you, as, as you observe this 35th year, what kind of comes to your mind uh, about the importance of, of SCJ? Well, I think about the, all the wonderful success stories yeah. that, that we run into all the time um, and just what, what a difference it's made in their lives and what a difference it's made in their families' lives. And I, I've seen Spanish Coalition for Jobs by way of helping you know, individuals, the heads of households, mm -hmm. help the families and then um, be able to help communities. You build families, you build communities. You're really one person at a time, and, and in building the families and the communities, that kind of connection is passed on generationally, isn't it? Absolutely, and I think one of the other um, really neat things that, that we have seen in uh, almost 36 years have been that now uh, many of the individuals that went through our training programs have now, you know, they've gone on for higher education, they're sending their children to college, um, they're breaking um, a cycle, they're breaking mm -hmm. a, a cycle of social obstacles, a cycle of poverty, um, and y our name, Spanish Coalition for Jobs, uh, may not tell you all that we are today. I was going to ask you to expand a little <laughs> okay. bit more. As, as the organization has expanded over the year to, to meet the needs of the, of the community. Yeah, and I want to tell you a little history about um, why we're called the Spanish Coalition yeah, for yeah, Jobs, because it may a make a little history, yeah. sense. Um, so when a group of these community individuals who were very concerned about better employment opportunities for Latino communities, they really they got together, they, they formed uh, an actual coalition um, fighting for jobs, um, working with different businesses and companies, ensuring that um, better opportunities were available, that we were getting fair um, opportunities to try for jobs. Uh, and um, Illinois Bell was one of the first companies that uh, the coalition right. worked with. But in the 60s, it really was a loose coalition mm -hmm. uh, and really working on more of an activism, advocacy. I was going to say, really an activist mm -hmm. organization, right. really grassroots, really getting down mm -hmm. and dirty and dealing with the issues and really demanding that change happen. Absolutely. And so um, they were trying to define who they are because mm -hmm. they had grown as a group, as a collective. And so they decided that, well, what are we going to call ourselves? You know, we're definitely a coalition. We're fighting for jobs. We're from different backgrounds per se so you had um, a variety of, of different Latinos and Latino wasn't really widely used at that time right. um, and we had some non-Latinos on that coalition as well but who were very interested in these in the issues in the yes issues. yes yeah. um, so they said well you know this is for the Spanish speaking community and we are fighting for individuals of backgrounds that speak Spanish and we speak Spanish right. so Let's call ourselves Spanish the Spanish Coalition the common, for Jobs. The common and so that's here. that's where oh. the name comes from. Very, very awesome. Of course, the leaders of the organization have gone on to distinguish themselves in, in many ways. And part of that coalition, there was about 12 or 14 people during that time, and part of that coalition was uh, Mary Gonzalez Koenig, sure. um, and she took it a step further. Um, when we became incorporated in 1972 mm -hmm. as a 501c3, uh, we went from advocacy, activism, to 
direct service. Right. So now it was about, okay, we talk to the players, we talk to the people we need to talk to to open those doors. And bring them now together. Now let's bring them together. Let's um, start working directly with the community. And providing so she, yes, providing. Uh, to meet the needs that, that now were available or opening. Absolutely, mm. um, by preparing uh, the community residents and um, showing them about job readiness and, and, and the basics. Um, and she started doing job placement out of a delicatessen in the heart of Pilsen, 17th, yes. uh, in the heart of Pilsen. And we moved into a funeral home uh, at 1737 West 18th Street, also mm. in Pilsen. And we started, and this is kind of neat, um, so here we started these um, typing programs out of this funeral home again back in the seven, uh, early 70s. And so um, today I talk to a lot of graduates from those years and what they tell me is they remember having to build their own, the community got together and they to built the, um, the desks yeah. you know, for their classes. Wow. And so um, the vision of the organization is, well, it's not enough to just be able to connect the two for, for jobs. Right. Our community needs to be well prepared, um, be competitive, um, and have everything that we could possibly do to ensure that they're positioned for better growth and higher uh, opportunities. And so that's where we started the skills training program from our from our funeral home. It's not a funeral home now, no, but that's what it was before. Very much alive. It's, it's amazing, and it's an amazing story. I want to share more with folks as we continue, Album. We're going to do celebrating 35 years of the Spanish Coalition for Jobs when Chicago and continues right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back to Chicago, and today we are honoring 35 years of the Spanish Coalition for Jobs, and we've been talking with Elba Aranda Sa, who is the director of SCJ, and we're welcoming Alan Rodriguez, who's Executive Vice President of Community Affairs, Charter One Bank, Chicago, Illinois, in Illinois. Good to have you here, Thank Alan. you, Bill. Glad to be here, and glad to be here with a great partner like Spanish Coalition. Well, that's what I kind of wanted us to talk about, is one of the, the hallmarks of the the what you've been doing for 35 years is building partnerships and partnerships that that serve both partners and i'd like to talk a little bit about how that's become a tradition for scj and why it works absolutely and our our roots our history you know the, our foundation is really working with business and working with industry because you cannot properly prepare someone or train someone in isolation you know right. you have to do that you know with industry to ensure that um, our training and our placement is appropriate. Appropriate, it's marketable. fits, works, and has a future. And mm -hmm. really, that's the only way to, to make it work. And uh, I think Spanish Coalition for Jobs is probably, you know, one of the first organization that has um, this holistic um, approach or holistic uh, relationships that, you know, embody the business community and strong partners with business as employers and overall in general working together to build the community as well as government as well as other, you know, community organizations mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, we can't be islands in, in right. this world of humanity and that's obviously what's worked for, for Charter and, and mm -hmm. you guys, Al. No, for, for Charter One, this is a natural uh, fit for us to be partners with Spanish Coalition because, you know, at the essence, they are helping Latinos in Chicagoland gain economic independence. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from our involvement on their Business Leadership Council to Alba's point on giving them industry-specific guidance and industry-specific information, you know, all of the business community can benefit when they're hiring a, 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 a student from Spanish Coalition. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, we're, we live in a very rich and vibrant multicultural city. So, and the, the students at Spanish Coalition leave with comprehensive year-long programs. They're nationally accredited. Right. So it's, it's a program that has, uh, um, you know, has others that can follow their, their standards that they have set. And from a business perspective, you know, Charter One Bank kind of, it, whether it's involved, whether we're involved from mock interviews and in helping these students kind of flush out and get ready, or whether we're involved in job fairs, hiring them, or we've had the pleasure of having an intern, you know, from the different programs. And any of these individuals, you know, from, from the students, um, they leave the organization so much more prepared, so yeah. much more successful, and many of them are often bilingual. 
and as a result, they, they're contributing to corporate America who have, a, who have a true desire to have these very successful professionals who also happen to be bilingual. Right, that have those skills, that have those abilities, that have the experience. And I would imagine as a hiring employer to have had relationship with a lot of these, these young people as they've come through the programs, mm -hmm. it's a great pool of, of new employees, new hires. Absolutely. You know, when, um, when, when sometimes we're in the, in the business community and you're searching to find right. the right successful candidate, you know, here's an example that by having industry specific, an organization where, you know, we're helping contribute to say, this is what we need for the right core competencies. And the Spanish Coalition can help deliver that and do it in a nationally certified manner. Um, and have an individual that is culturally rich for the communities and customers that we're serving. You, you know, that's what I call a win-win. Absolutely. And so it's a so employers, you know, um, you know, your viewership should know that this is a great opportunity. That you know, we're partners for the right reasons. We're partners because we're helping individuals gain economic independence, but we're also partners because it's great for business. You're providing key employees for businesses, and when we've had the pleasure of hiring some of these students, you know, to see them continue to grow, get promoted, they are hunger. For, they are hungry for development. And they want to keep moving up, and that's the great success story that we have here. You know, so the partnership works for, for all parties. And it changes stereotypic views that people may have had, or companies may have had, and, and grow and learn and understand that, you know, great training is, is a commodity that is as important as anything else, the bottom line. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When we, for instance, a few years ago, um, we helped the Spanish Coalition um, as a lead corporate sponsor of a customer service and sales program. Mm. And this is a, specifically, a specific program that helps a cohort of 10 to 15 individuals go through this year-long program, which includes an internship at corporate America companies to assure that they have that extra component. And, and then immediately, of course, they're sought after to be hired. But this program was created with corporate America in mind, yet t um, making sure that we're getting the, the tremendous positive work ethic from the individual students. And there, there's also a, re, you know, a, a strong a screening process to make yeah. sure that we get the right individual. So you're assured that when this individual graduates, um, that you're going to have a top-notch employee at your company. So I certainly would encourage you know other organizations, you know, to partner in other corporate entities because this is an example of the by us being involved in a customer service and sales program, you've given companies that have a desire for financial services professionals, um, they can get it right here oh. at Spanish Coalition. And when that employee succeeds his or her family succeeds, Absolutely. the community succeeds, and it is, it's a win, 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 win. The That's wins right. keep coming. Mm -hmm. uh, and would not have happened without the vision of folks like Mary Gonzalez, right. mm -hmm. Koenig, and, and the coalition to move it forward. Mm -hmm. And Alan, I want to thank you for being on the show today and really bringing that perspective because it's really critical for people to be aware that it's a win, 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 win when folks are engaged for all the right reasons. We're not able to do the work. SEJ can't do the work without partners like uh, Alan and Charter One. Well. Well, it's good having you on this show. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thanks. Folks, stay with us. We're going to be back with much more on our 35th anniversary celebration right after this. Welcome back to Chicago, and today we are celebrating the 35 years of the Spanish Coalition for Jobs, and we've been talking with Elba Aranda Sa, and Elba, I wanted you to bring us into the... 2007. 2007. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you um, introduce us to our, our two additional guests in the segment, too. Um, well, just very quickly... Um, SCJ has evolved um, in the past 35 years and we started out you know, d providing direct job placement and today we are a nationally accredited uh, business education institute. Wow. Um, our, that is huge. Yes, it our, really our students huge. graduate with a, with a credential. Not mm. only do they get um, the skills and life skills and overall comprehensive training. But that um, level of, 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 of training and expertise is is now acknowledged nationally. Absolutely. That's I mean, it's huge. even more validated. Yeah, absolutely. Validated absolutely. by industry and now validated, you know, in the academic world. Right. They can carry that, you know, 